Well, hi everybody. This is Explorer 867. Today's the first day of the rest of your life, so get out and enjoy it. Get out and see something new. This video is going to cover the final, third and final uh, segment in the diesel uh, Chinese diesel heater build in the uh, camper canopy. <clears throat> we'll walk you through programming the unit, talk a little bit about the functionality of the heater and the controller and how they interact, how to use them. So come on along and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get into this without any further ado. All right, let's, uh, let's talk about the uh, controller. And uh, this is the electronic controller that um, I, I purchased with the uh, heater, Chinese heater. And uh, so let's start by setting the time on the on the unit so what we'll do is we'll poke this here you can see that first digit is already flashing so it's uh, it's uh, it's 1 1 p.m. so we want to go hit OK goes to the next digit and then we want to go 13 and then we'll go OK. And then uh, since it's one o'clock, where are we at? Seven, let's go. OK, so there we go. Then the next option it will give you uh, is if you wanted to set a timer so that this would automatically turn itself on and turn itself off. I don't choose to use that. So if you just pause here a second, it will automatically go back to the clock, which it did, 1300. It's military time, 24 hour uh, clock time. And uh, so anyhow, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's say that uh, you've just hooked this unit up and you, uh, you want to uh, prime the system, prime the fuel lines uh, to, the, to the heater, from the tank to the heater. First of all, what I'd recommend doing is if you can uh, fill the lines from the tank up right up to the, the little pump unit uh, because uh, each stroke is only 0 0.02 of a milliliter. So it takes quite a, quite a few pumps to uh, bring that fuel just up to the just up to the pump itself, depending on how long that fuel line is from the tank to the uh, to the pump and that that little piston inside that pump only gets its lubrication from the diesel. And so if it's running dry for many, 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 many pumps until it can get the diesel up to the pump, it's going to wear on that, uh, on that little uh, pump. And you don't want that. So get the fuel primed up to the pump and, uh, and, then, uh, and then go ahead and, and do this. So what you'd do is you'd hit the OK button and you'd hit the down arrow at the same time. And I'm not gonna do that because mine is already primed, but you would have a, an H pop up here. So what you'd wanna do when that goes, when that happens is come over and click that up arrow and the pump will start priming. And then if you need to, if, if, it, if you've got a long fuel line, and hopefully you're not more than, they say, more than two meters past the pump. Uh, but if, if it's not still not primed, you can go ahead and cycle it again. We've got our time set. So then what we'll do, this tells you, if you push OK again, this will tell you what the temperature is in Celsius inside the cabin currently. It's got the small little degree marker there. Uh, if you hit it again, now that tells you what you have the the unit set on Celsius uh, for the heater to run at. In other words, that is its heat target is eight degrees Celsius. And you can tell that by the large degree marker after the eight. So that tells you that that's the the heat setting. Okay. That this gives you the the readout of the battery. You've got 13.5 volts, and uh, you push the OK button again, 
and that will tell you if there's any errors. If there are, it'll give you a number, and then you can go look those up either online or in your, if you got an instruction manual. Sometimes you don't, I guess, with these Chinese heaters. I did get one. Uh, you can look it up and see what the air code is. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll uh, we'll turn this unit on uh, manually, which is how Helen and I'll be running it is on manual. Don't plan to use the timer at all. Anyhow, so what you'll do is you'll come up here and you'll push this button in and hold it until it turns on. You can see it's flashing on. Now you can see that the fan uh, icon there, you can see it's uh, circling. Then you see right down here, you see the alternating red and green arrows. That just lets you know you've got fresh combustion air coming into the heater from outside and you've got exhaust going out. Uh, up here you see that you've got the uh, the glow plug is on, the little red glow plug icon is on. That just lets you know that uh, that it's preheating the the heater and it will until it warms up gets hot enough uh, for the uh, ECU to then turn the fuel pump on and then it'll inject diesel fuel in there and with the glow plug so hot it will combust then once the uh, unit comes up to temperature uh, then that glow plug will go off uh, when the glow plugs running it, it uses about 8 to 10 amps so it at this point it's drawing quite a little bit of juice but uh, that's just for a short period here so now you can hear and you can see, I think you can hear in the background the little click, click, click. That's the pump running. This is the pump icon here indicating that it is now pumping diesel and it's now injecting it into the, um, into the heater. Let's go ahead and we're gonna run this up. Let's run this up to 14. So we'll run that to 14 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> you can also, and I, I think probably the way we're going to run it, uh, instead of doing the Celsius setting, which is what it's on right now, I think what we probably will do is the Hertz setting. What that is, each each Hertz is a, a cycle. One Hertz is one cycle per second of the pump. And uh, so, We'll uh, we'll show you that here before we we uh, knock off here. So the uh, the furnace is running right now and it's coming up to temperature. Right down in here, you'll see first you'll see two green well one at a time. You'll see a green line and then another green line, then a yellow and a yellow and then a red and a red. And once you're up to both reds showing uh, down there, your uh, your heater. Uh, is up to full temperature <clears throat> so we're running now and it will uh, gain those icons and uh, we'll uh, pause it here and we'll come back when we're fully up to temp okay you can see now we're up to uh, full temperature let's go ahead we'll back this down so we can bring the speed of the fan down Eight degrees Celsius is as cold as you can uh, set it. The furnace then will idle down to its lowest setting here. Okay, let's uh, let's turn this unit from Celsius to to Hertz. And so what we're going to do is we're going to push this button and this button simultaneously. Okay, that's the Celsius. Okay, that's Hertz. So you see the P and it's at 1.2. Turn it back on here. So it's at 1.2. That's its lowest setting. And 1.2 Hertz indicates that's 1.2 pumps of the fuel pump per second. And that's its lowest setting on this unit. And you can hear that the in the background it should be getting quiet and the pump is uh, and the fan has slowed way down. <clears throat> That's the most uh, fuel efficient. If we run it up here to two, oops, run it to two, 
right there. So at two hertz at this setting here, uh, that's that'll pump as far as fuel consumption goes. That'll be 144 milliliters per hour, um, and on that setting of, of two, you'll get approximately 31.57 hours of runtime per gallon. And so uh, you can see these are very efficient and they do kick out quite a little bit of heat. Uh, this is five kilowatts, uh, not at the, at the two setting, but it is a five kilowatt. So if it gets cold and you need a lot of heat, you can run it on up or you can back it off and two kilowatts is going to keep our camper canopy toasty even in the cold real cold weather if you want it when you want to turn it off you come over here to this button again hold it down and it goes off like that so now it's going to do a cool down cycle these things have to cool down if you shut them off in other words you unplug the electricity from them the 12 volt power uh they'll overheat and you'll you'll uh um, you'll destroy that ECU, so uh, you don't want to do that. It, it has to run its cool down cycle, <clears throat> and so in that cool down cycle, you can see that again the glow plug is on. That that helps to clean off any carbon that's built up on it. Helps clean that off, and the little filter screen in there as well. And uh, so eventually that will shut itself off. Then the the pump will shut itself off. That little icon will go out just as well. And then you'll see the temperature bars go down. And when you get down to the green, then the fan will turn off. And the unit has effectively cooled itself down. Uh, well, this is Explorer 867. I hope you've enjoyed the video today uh, the, covering the Chinese uh, diesel heater and more specifically the electronic controller that I purchased with it. And uh, so if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. You get the latest content from the channel as I release it. Uh, put, our, put us out on your uh, uh, public media, your Facebook, your Twitters, uh, and the like. And uh, let other people know we're out here. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors. Have a great day.